Yo, what's your man, Trick Daddy? And you're listening to Beyond the Air, part of the Maha Underground. And I'm joined here with... Shante. And the man, the alchemist. Yo, yes, man. Yes, yes, sir. What's up? What's up? How you doing? So we're here. We're going to talk about him today. And if you don't know him, now you'll know. <laughs> Thanks for having me on the show, guys. Appreciate it. Yeah, man. Uh, I've actually been wanting to, you know, do something like this. You know, kind of build on my, uh, my portfolio of content, you know, with my vlogs, my podcast that I'm starting and everything like that. Uh... Give you guys a little background of who I am and what I do. Uh, my name is Isai, uh, aka the Alchemist. You know, 22 years young. Uh, grew up in Denver, Colorado. Actually, a native, which is crazy to be in Colorado and Denver with natives right now, you know, because there's so many people moving here now. It's crazy, crazy. You gotta say that now. You're like, I'm a Colorado native. Like you, you know? literally have to say it. Like I have now to tell you, I'm a native, so you know I've been here first. Okay. <laughs> I'm a real one. <laughs> I've been here. Yeah, man, so uh, just a little background, I went to, uh, you know, Westminster High School, graduated 2013, you know, I was uh, I was in a point, you know, I remember this moment, actually, I was uh, sitting in my uh, graphic design class, just looking out my window, I'm like, damn, I was like, is this where I want my life to go, like, when I go to college, and just, you know, just do everything that everyone else is telling me, and, you know, at the time, I graduated, went to college, and, you know, I was going to college, and I love the atmosphere in a sense where I was, you know, networking and meeting like-minded individuals, but at the end of the day, like, there wasn't anything that, there was no spark, there was no fire in my heart, so I ended up dropping out, and you know how that goes, like, you know, I hear it from my, my grandparents and other people in the world just saying, like, okay, what are you going to do now? Are you going to work retail the rest of your life? Are you in construction? What are you going to do? And I would tell them, I was like, no, look, I'm going to be successful, I'm going to be a great, I'm going to great, I'm gonna be a great human being. In the back of my head, I was like, I don't know what yet, I don't know how yet, but I just know I'm gonna do it. You know what I mean? So, um, I always had a passion for you know for graphics and you know media, doing video and stuff like that. So I started my own company called Alchemy Media. Uh, at first, it was just a media company, you just doing videos for clients, whether it's like gyms or weddings and stuff like that. Yeah. And then um, I kind of developed it into a, a marketing business as well, which we would we, we do uh, attention marketing with Facebook and Instagram and Snapchat and everything like that. And uh, I call it attention marketing because um, as we progress, as technology progresses, you know, social media is what's in right now and what's it's how to market now. But say five years, ten years from now, it might not be social media. You know what I mean? So what my business does and specializes in is um, following the trends following and knowing trends. where yeah, yeah where attention is at. That's why it's called attention marketing. Keeping attention. Yeah, yeah, exactly, exactly. Doing that and yeah, man. Just you know, at the end of the day, you know, kind of my my big why is you know I want to create. A, a world and a legacy, you know, I want to be remembered in time like someone like uh, Gandhi or Martin Luther King Jr., you know, someone that really had a positive impact in the world, so every decision that I make, whether it's a business decision or a life decision, is reverse engineered on that topic of being, okay, I'm going to change the world, you know what I mean, so I feel like to change the world in a in advanced way, I need, you know, I do definitely need a lot of money, you know what I mean, I feel like I need that, so why not build a couple businesses, and so Alchemy Media is one of my businesses. And uh, I'm also invested in the cryptocurrency right now, Google. blockchain, everything like that. There's been a lot of, you know, a lot of hype in. Just the way in so, Yeah, exactly, exactly. And my biggest thing with that is, you know, as I develop that business and that brand, is called the Crypto Click. And, you know, way past beyond cryptocurrency, it's basically getting people to just invest in themselves, invest in their future. You know what I mean? Like I said, I'm 22 years old and... Um, a lot of you know people around my age, you know, they go out every weekend, they party, they pop bottles, and like I said, there's nothing wrong with that. Like it's your life, do what makes you happy. Yeah. But at the end of the day, if say you you know through you uh, spend 200 bucks a weekend at the club or at uh, you know whatever, imagine putting that into something that's going to compound and make you money 10 years down the line, 20 years down the line. And that's kind of what I want to educate people on with you know cryptocurrency because that's going to be our future and everything like that. Yeah, so I'm just doing everything, man. I'm just really just being a positive influence and just building businesses and just doing what I love. Isn't that cool, man? How you say you, you catch the wave. And so this latest wave right now, you said is the cryptocurrency. Cryptocurrency, yeah. Uh, I'm not super, super educated on it. I just know, you know, the real basics. It's a uh, it's basically like currency. It's online currency. Um, just kind of like USD, like the US dollar. Right. If you uh, if you follow the trends after year after year, like it's a uh, it's inflating, it's going down in value year after year. So eventually, it's gonna get to a point where you know the dollar costs nothing. Wait, you know? It's gonna yeah. yeah, it's gonna it's gonna Absolutely. collapse and everything yeah. like that. And that's where cryptocurrency comes in. And uh, further on that is gonna be the blockchain technology that's built on top of it. Basically, in simplest terms, blockchain technology is basically a um, a ledger so basically kind of like you know I give my money to Amazon and Amazon you know purchase it yeah. it's basically a system like that but just way more secure 
Oh, yeah. um, and that's what that's what the future is going to be built off of is blockchain te blockchain technology and everything like that. So I've been investing in it. I know you're getting into it a little bit as well. So it's just yeah, it's the way, man. It's just the future. I've been studying it a lot. So with all your stuff, all your projects going on, where in your priorities is cryptocurrency? Um, Would you say that's one of your main ones, or is that just something that's running in the back? It's a. Uh, it's definitely. It's it's kind of weird. Like. I feel like it's a main one, but it's kind of one of those things where um, if you, you just got to educate yourself enough about it and know that's the future and how much money you can make, and then just honestly, just like like you're to pay a bill, like if you're to pay it, put some money into it every two weeks, every month, like that's really all you got to do. That's what I'm doing. Like I said, I'm not investing it for like a you know 12 months return. I'm trying to get this back, you know, in five years and ten years. Yeah. You know what I mean? Like I said, and another thing, you know, why I'm doing this is I'm. Kinda, I'm building my future for my future kids, you know what I mean? Like, I want them to have my businesses, the, the money that I have, like, it's all for them. Like, I don't know their names yet, because I haven't met my wife, but, <laughs> <laughs> but like, that's what I'm building for, that's exactly, like I said, I'm investing for the future, so that's kind of like my, you know, kind of my quote-unquote side thing I'm doing, just investing money and doing all that. So, but see, that's the good thing, is that you plan ahead as of now, yes. and you think mm -hmm. so much further now than more people, you know what I mean? Yeah, and, 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 and it took me a long time to get there. Like I said, like, I uh, I just recently grew into the, you know, individual I'm becoming right now, and it's an ongoing process, but I told myself at the beginning of 2017, I was like, look, 2017 is going to be my year of growth, my year of, like, you know, trying to figure out the man I want to become, and it's honestly has been, it's been crazy to, you know, see that come to fruition and actually speak that into existence actually happened to me, so it's crazy, yeah. man, that, like, like I said, when I turned 21, I was just like, you know, I'll go out, party and everything like that. But it didn't take long for me to realize that that wasn't my demographic. Like, I didn't, I didn't like that feeling of just, like, getting, you know, wasted Based and just, stuff, like, yeah. partying. Yeah, it's just not me. So. Okay. Yeah. That's cool. So, um, you had mentioned earlier about, you know, discovering your why in life. How did you discover, how did you discover it? Yeah, I mean, you know? so, that's a, that's a, you know, that's a kind of a difficult question to answer just because I there wasn't like a okay do this do this do this and then you find your mm -hmm. why you know what I mean it's kind of like just a, it's kind of a journey of defining like it's so all of us have a why I, I personally believe that all of us have a why in it it's just about you know going through life and it's you know and it's bads and it's goods and it's you know roller coaster that we have just to figure out what it is and um, I only recently figured out these last you know this last two years um, just because I was kind of like, I really just sat down. I was like, okay, like, what do I want to do in my life? Like, what is the meaning? Like, what is the purpose of this? And, you know, I do a lot of meditation and just, you know, kind of figuring out, you know, knowing myself. And once I figured out myself, like, to a really good extent, I was like, okay, I know why I'm here. I know what my purpose is now. And I kind of just, I kind of stumbled upon it. And I, I got lucky because I found it that way. And... It's, it kind of sucks because I, I can't give someone the formula to find it. Yeah. It's just, it's like, I know it's in them. Mm -hmm. It's like, hey, like, I don't, I don't know what's going on in your life, but I know you're going to find it, whether it's going to be that heartbreak you go through or whether you're going to lose someone. Like, they're going to have a very big, impactful part, um, an event in your life that's really going to open up, like, okay, I need, it, I need to follow this. That's kind of... That's cool because I, I heard something this morning that only, like, 3% of the world, only 3% of the population right now will reach their full potential. Yeah. Crazy. You know I mean? mm -hmm. And the fact that they found their potential, that's that's another like percentage of the world, you know what I mean? Yep. So the fact that you can find your potential and that you'll reach it, yep. that just kind of gives an example to everyone else that it's possible, you know what I mean? That's, yeah. That's yeah, no, thing. exactly. And that's exactly what I'm trying to build is like, look, at the end of the day, I'm, I'm, I'm a 22 year old, you know, minority Hispanic kid from like Westminster, Colorado. Like the things that I'm gonna do is gonna be amazing. I'm gonna do so many great things, but I'm not anyone special, you know what I mean? Like that's what I'm trying to show people as I build my as I build my following, as I build my businesses, I'm trying to show people, not trying to, I'm I'm going to show people that that it's possible for anyone to do. And like I can I can you can do it. Like that's at the end of the day. And right. it's with the the implementation of like you know subliminal messaging, telling myself I could do it every day, surrounding myself with the right people that encourage me and push me to work harder. I mean, I mean, we live in a world where so many negative things are going on. You know, you're surrounded by negative people, negative events, and it's hard to, you know, break out of that matrix, that ma break out of that shell. And you know, like I said, I I did it with surrounding myself with the right people, doing personal development, reading books, and just you know, 100% believing in myself. Right on. So listeners, if you're just tuned in, we got. Pretty with your guy. You're listening to Maha Underground. And we got the Alchemist in the building. Peace, peace. And we're here with 
Shantae. <laughs> um, so we're, you mentioned your build brands, attention marketing. Yes. Being happy. Yes. Being happy, that kind of just basically sews everything in together, right? Literally. So, yeah, I mean, basically, if I wasn't happy doing anything that I'd be doing right now, like, I wouldn't be successful at anything right now. And I actually just put out a video, you know, the how to be happy every day, these three tricks that I do every day, and I'll tell you guys right now. So the first thing yeah, that I do, that. yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> so the, the, th the three things that I do every day is one, realize that you, to be grateful for what you have right now, you know what I mean? So right. for the longest time, I didn't realize all the things that I had, and so last year I went to, uh, so like I said, I'm half Hispanic, half Laos, so uh, last year when I went to Laos with my, my grandparents to visit family out there, I realized how privileged America is to like a third world country, mm -hmm. like, I'm telling you, like I had it. So the shower, so the shower, basically what I had a shower in three weeks was um, this little faucet that had like a little bit of water coming out, and like just a bucket of water. You know, what mm -hmm. I mean, that's how I was showered, and just how they lived, and everything like that is just like we're so privileged in America, and we don't yeah. even know it. So when I got back, I was like, you know what, like I got so many, I got so much more things in my life than so many more people in the world, and not, and if you live in America, you're 90 percent better than the whole world. And then, like, you gotta that's understand boring, that man. exactly. So. What I did and started to do every day was like, okay, and then I do it in the shower because like that's when I have time to think and everything like that. But you know, I'll close my eyes and I'll literally just tell myself what I'm thankful for. I was like, okay, I'm thankful for the electricity that I have. I'm thankful for that I had a bed to wake up in. I'm thankful for uh, the shower that I'm in right now. And what that does, it, it shows you that the things that you have, because most people, a lot of people are upset or you know not happy because they think that they don't have a lot of things in this world. You know what I mean? But you're, you know, you're seeing past the things that you have. Like you In have reality. a phone, you have a, yeah. you have a TV. Like there's so many things. So that's one, that's one thing that I do every day to, you know, make myself a happy person every day. The second trick was to uh, prime your environment. So basically, what that is is kind of like what I was saying earlier. Is you have to one surround yourself with people that one believe in you and are great are happy for you and just spread positive energy. You know what I mean? Because I know a lot of us live in households or even like, you know, friends and family that don't give them, you know, what they deserve. Like, you know, they tell them that they're worthless and they're not going to do anything in life. And at the end of the day, that does affect how you're going to live your life and how, you're gonna, how your emotions are. And it sucks to say, but like, unless you get out of that situation, like, you're not going to change anything. You know, I was blessed to be in a situation where most of my family and everything were very positive about what I did. And, and uh, I know, I know, like I said, I'm blessed for that because I know a lot of people don't have that. You know, they, they don't have that positive reinforcement. And like I said, just putting yourself in environments that are going to help you grow, whether it's, you know, being at school or whether it's being alone, with hanging out with friends, it's just priming your environment every day, every minute is going to be vital to your happiness as well. And then the third, <clears throat> the third one is um, spreading happiness, spreading love, spreading, spreading positivity, you know what I mean? At the end of the day, if you want happiness, if you want joy, uh, you gotta just give it to other people, you know what I mean? So whether that's, you know, telling someone that, a family member that you love them, or telling a random person, hey, you know, you're beautiful, or you have a great smile, you know what I mean? It's just sending positive energy out is just like, karma or uh, happiness is, you get, it, you get it back, you know what I mean? Basically what I'm trying to say, yeah, exactly. It's practical, karma is practical, exactly. So if you give out love, you give out positivity in the world, you're gonna get it back no matter what. So if you really think about it, and when I implement those three, three things every day, I'm this happiest person alive. And that's why I tell my, you know, my viewers and my following that, you know, do these three things every day and I promise within the next 30 days you're gonna be the most happiest person in the world. That's cool, man. Yeah. And I like what you said right there that you have to put yourself in this environment yeah. to be happy and, yeah. and that's that's the main goal, right? Mm -hmm. But then um, you have to put yourself in this environment. And I think what goes into that is getting out of your comfort zone. 100%. And I'm in this phase right now in yeah. my life, uh -huh. like these past couple months, and I know these next couple months or who knows how long I'm gonna take. Yeah, I'm trying to leave my comfort zone and my comfort zone, and I'm trying to do as many things as possible. Mm -hmm. I'm trying to find out, maybe like they say, find my why. And because I haven't had that really had that moment where like, could I do this for the rest of my life? You know what I mean? Yeah. And I'm trying to like build up to that, but like you said, putting yourself in an environment. Yeah. I think that's. It's key. That's essential. Yeah. yeah. And like I said, to build off what you said, like, you know, like I said, I'm, I'm grateful and blessed that I found my why at 22, but this is the thing, like, we have, it's it's weird, like, you have, we have such a long time, we have such a short time in life, and it's like, say if I didn't find my why until three years from now, I'm only 25 years old, you know what I mean? I still got another 60 years to live. 
Like this is the thing, and like we're in we're in no rush. Like a lot of people want you know are rush to whether it be a millionaire or just the chance of the world. Like and you know I've been caught in that too. But at the end of the day, patience is going to be the key. And you know one thing that I would tell you is like, hey, you know, experiment, do different things. You know, to see what see what actually makes you happy. And if it makes you happy and it can make you money at the same time, great. You know what I mean? Just don't rush it. Take your time and just you know just go with the flow of life and just make sure you're happy doing every step of the way. That's. Like I said, that those, everything you said right there are keys. It's it's essential keys. in the part of life. DJ Gallagher. Yeah. <laughs> that's, that's, not, man. that's that's cool. I mean, we we talking about following your dreams, building brands. Yeah. Attention marketing. Exactly. Being happy. So one so one thing you know that I recently figured out with uh, you know like I said so telling you guys my why I want to change the world. I was like okay. So one one thing I figured out I I, I need money. You know so I'm gonna build businesses. Okay. So how do I get my message out to the, to the world? Uh, with social media now, you can impact literally millions of people on just one video. And one thing I want to bring up is one of the skits that I did, one of the comedy skits that I did, um, I didn't expect it to blow up like it did. Like it's at 2.8 million views right now. And it's just crazy how things go viral. But that's what I'm saying is as I, as I build my, myself as the alchemist, as, you know, as my brand is East Side's World, I'm getting, that's the best way to reach millions of people, right? And you see all these people like rappers like Migos and, you know, say like 2 Chains and everything like that. They, yeah. they have millions of people like watching them and everything like that. Not dissing them or anything, but at the end of the day, what message are they really pushing out to the world? You know what I mean? Like their Especially message is. Especially the platform they Yeah, have, you know? exactly. And their message is getting, you know, turned, you know, getting some women, like taking drugs. Like, you know, at the end of the day, that's what most rappers talk about. And it sucks because they have millions of people following them, millions of kids, and like, that's their idols, that's what they look up to, you know what I mean? So, if I can make entrepreneurship, if I can build a brand, quote unquote, cool, like a rapper would, you know what I mean? And I still have millions of people following me, but I'm pushing a positive message of peace, love, and positivity, you know what I mean? Exactly, like, yeah. that's the way I'm gonna do it, reaching millions of people through social media. So I'm really locked down and on social media and taking over the social media game, you know? Like, we're going to Facebook Live right now at the same time, and I'm recording this podcast, and then, put it on Instagram, on Snapchat, and everything, like, I'm all about it, and, you know, Gary Vee is one of my online mentors, and, mm -hmm. like, I push, like, that guy's, like, that guy's the great, like, you know he's, he's the truth, that you guy's the truth, saying. man, like, yeah. I get, I get so much knowledge from him, and, like I said, I, I got to meet him last year, because I snuck into his event, what? <laughs> let me, yeah, yeah, so let me, let me tell you about this, so, uh, the night before Gary Vee was supposed to be here, I found out, because my dad told me, and I looked up the tickets, and, like, 600 bucks, like, okay, well, where was it gonna be at? Or where, where uh, it was at the Denver, no, not Denver Coliseum. Um, what's that? What's that one on Spear when it's like the two people dancing, like those big, those uh, two? Performing uh, arts complex. Uh, the performing arts. What's it called? Uh, yeah, performing arts. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It was, uh, it was there, and I was like, damn, okay, like, well, I can't, you know, I don't have six hundred bucks to spend. It's like, okay, well, I'm not gonna miss this guy. I gotta meet him. I have a camera. So basically, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go there early in the morning and act like I'm supposed to be there. So basically what I did, I took my camera, I took my equipment, and I, I basically just walked through the front door and no one questioned anything because I looked like I was supposed to be there. Act so the Yeah, exactly, exactly. So the whole day, I was just shooting random stuff, like <laughs> acting like I was yeah. a videographer for the day. <laughs> and then uh, Gary Vee did his keynote, and I was like, okay, this is dope, I'm shooting his keynote right now, and then he had a meet and greet. So I was like, okay, I gotta get there. So as soon as he got off stage, I ran up there, and you know, there's people like blocking the door. I was like, okay, I was like, all right, we gotta get in here. Like Gary Vee's up here. We gotta set up our cameras and everything. I, I like straight acted like I was supposed to be there. They let me in. I shot the video and I got to meet him. It was it was super super dope. And then like he uh, it was he was he was kind of intimidating when you meet in person. If really? you guys know who Gary Vee is, like he's like he it was dope though because he opened my eyes and you know at the time he basically shed straight up to my face and my camera that I was with. He's like, hey, you know you can't you can't build a uh, you can't be a twenty three year old life coach at the end of the day. Like you gotta. You gotta build a business. You can't like just be giving people ad advice and you not have done anything in your life. You know what I mean? It showed that straight to my face. I was like, damn, like this fool is real, as, you know, real. And uh, from then on, I just that's when I I gotta change it. And then that's where I am today because I get met Gary Vee, so it was dope, it was a super dope experience. <laughs> that's cool. That's sick. That's awesome. Um, you know, I really like how you focus on you know your happiness yes. and your purpose in life because so many people live life, mm -hmm. you know, doing things that they're so unhappy, working a yeah, job where they're yeah. so unhappy, yeah. and you're doing something where you're happy, and you're getting the money that you're needing, and you're doing it, and you're happy, Yes. and at the end of the day, like, 
the message that you're sending out to everybody is basically saying, you know, do what you love, and yeah. when you're doing what you love, like, you'll flourish in it. And exactly. And money will come to you. Like, you shouldn't have to work for it. On point, exactly shit. Like, I, I believe, like, you know, you, you attract, you know, I feel like, so money is, like, very, like, people stress about money all the time, mm-hmm. like, and I used to do that, too, and I realized, I was like, look, me stressing about money is not going to attract more money. You know what I mean? So I'm like, look, at the end of the day, I know money's going to come no matter what, so let me just do what I love and let it flow through. You know what I mean? And this is my thing, too, is like, you know, a lot of other life coaches and people get caught up, even normal people get caught up in, you know, making other people happy, and that's great that you want to do that. But I say this quote, and actually, you know, I developed this quote. I was like, you can't, you can't feed the world if you die of starvation. And basically what that means is if you're not happy yourself and you're not the person you need to become, you're not going to be able to help anyone. Yeah, and that's what and that's what I leave it by is like I gotta make sure I'm happy. I gotta make sure I'm the person that I need to be, so I can help everyone be the person that they need to be. And that's why I'm like I'm just on the, I'm on right now. I'm at a point where I'm building myself up and I'm building you know the life that I want to live and make sure I'm happy, so I can show the pathway that people can do it as well. That's good, man. That's great, and that's that's basically what we're trying to build here. Yeah, and we just kind of pave 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 a path for everyone to just follow and. Be successful on their own. Exactly. You know I mean, so thanks yep. for coming through, man. Thank you. I appreciate. Awesome. It. We had uh, the thank you. The thank building. you. <laughs> thank you for letting me be here. I'm spreading my love and positivity. Appreciate you guys both. Cool. Thanks, man. Thank and so you've been part of the Mile High Underground, with Shante, with Jig Daddy. <laughs> cool. <laughs> thanks for sticking to me, guys. Peace.